So a brother of mine was nice enough to loan me his 2019 Heritage Softail for the weekend while mine's down. So I decided while I have it, I'll run her through, run her through her paces and see how I like it. Here she is looking all pretty. I do love the classic lines of her and the paint scheme, the white accents on the, I think that's the billiard blue. I do like the way she looks and those fishtails fit her pretty well. So I attempted to get a real feel for how it's like to ride it. So I tried to put it through things I would put mine through in an everyday riding schedule. Like here I'm riding through the city. And then I ran her out in no man's land in the country. A little wide open cruising. I rode it in a group setting with my beautiful wife on the back of it to see how well it holds up to two up. And then after I dropped the wife off I decided to go have some fun. But without further ado, here is my uneducated and underqualified review and seat of the pants comparison to my Road King. Enjoy! So the very first thing that I realized about this bike is it reminded me exactly why I took the police windshield off my Road King and decided to go with a Batwing fairing instead. This windshield does absolutely nothing to block the wind off of my face. So to prevent a video full of annoying road noise, the rest of this video just be studio narration. You're welcome. The road you see me on right now, it's actually my road, the road I live on. So I ride this quite often and uh, quite aggressively on my bike. I've heard about the soft tail shimmy and I gotta admit I was a little surprised this being such a new bike with the newer style frame and whatnot uh, I anticipated feeling more confident in the twisties than I actually did on this thing I imagine that I was taking turns a good 10-15 mile an hour slower on this than I am on mine now granted it is someone else's bike so I'm not gonna ride it as hard as I do mine but I was just surprised at the feeling of uh, or the lack of confidence that this soft tail inspired. But what I can say in the uh, favor of the heritage is that this thing is definitely making me want to trade up to an M8. I've got a uh, stage 296, but it's older. It's only got a five speed in it, but it's still a small displacement motor and just feel like I'm shifting a lot more and a lot more often with the older bike. This 114, uh, when you twist it, it says okay and it goes. It makes it a little easier having to slow down for the turns when you know you can pick it right back up. So speaking of the newer M8, let's talk about straight line, open road cruising. Now I've, I've ridden 117s and 114s before, just not for very long, and uh, it's kind of a matter of preference. I myself rather enjoy the raw and uncultured classic feel of an old school motorcycle the rumbling underneath it shaking and kind of a pain in the butt to ride sometimes but there's definitely something to be said about how smooth this thing rolls down the open highway it kind of feels like a bigger bike it just kind of rolls nice and smooth nice and comfortable like you're not getting shaken all over the place and the uh, no downshift passing power is also a very welcome benefit to the uh, newer 114 MA. Make no mistake though, when it's time to enjoy the uh, 150 pound plus weight savings or the incredibly evident lower seat height, you're going to have that to enjoy. Dueling around a parking lot or maneuvering within a crowd of people or even just backing it up into a parking space, you can definitely tell that this is a smaller bike even with a passenger on the back. It's just so easy to push around. So what are my overall thoughts on the Heritage Classic? And how do I feel it stacks up to my rib cable? Well, first off, I'm going to say it's a good bike. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. But I'm sure it's going to fit somebody out there really, really well. Unfortunately, it didn't fit that big guy so well. That's why he's letting me ride his Heritage while he sits on his brand new Road Glide ST in front of me. Uh, but it is, in fact, a good bike. 
I think somebody that doesn't need a huge bike, somebody getting into maybe their first new Harley or graduating up from a Sportster would really enjoy this bike. It doesn't have all the amenities on it. Again, it's, it's the uh, classic, so it's stripped down, nothing but your basic bike. And other than a uh, poor choice of seats by the owner, which he already knows about, um, it's a pretty comfortable bike, good for just putting around. I just don't feel comfortable with it being a thrashing bike. Now with any bike, obviously, you can upgrade it, add parts to it, and make it whatever you want. But of course, this review is just on the basic bike as it sets. Uh, if I wanted to throw five or six grand at it, I'm sure I could make it a bike I would love to ride all the time. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with my Road King. She does me well, she serves me well, and uh, it fits my style of riding. I'm thinking, now that I've been on the 114 for a while, eventual upgrade, maybe to a 114, or if they make them with the 117, newer Road King standard model. But for right now, I'll just ride my old 2006 tried and true, road proven, battle ready penny. I'm going to return this heritage with a heart full of gratitude. If it weren't for my buddy, I wouldn't have been able to go on this awesome child abuse awareness ride that you're seeing in this video. There's more videos about it on my channel. And I'm going to get my tire fixed jump back on my old Road King and continue having miles of smiles. The weather is finally starting to break here where I am. Hopefully it is where you are as well. So whatever it is you ride, jump on it and get your own miles full of smiles. But please remember while you're out there doing it, do what you love, do it safely, and do it with purpose. Thanks for watching, I appreciate your support, and until the next episode, I'm going to go ride.